Whether you are actively looking for a job or are perfectly happy and content at your current company, it's always a good idea to keep your resume up to date, just in case an opportunity comes along you might be interested in or, knock on wood, the unexpected happens. But when it comes to your resume, tools are popping up all over the place, it seems, to help you with this task. The latest one is Microsoft Word's new Resume Assistant, located on the Review tab, available now to Office Insiders running Word 2016. Clicking that Resume Assistant button will open a pane to the right of the screen that connects you with LinkedIn. So yes, you will need an internet connection to access information in this pane. Now, you don't need a LinkedIn account to use this pane necessarily, but by clicking Get Started, you are agreeing to send your resume information to LinkedIn to get suggestions based on your resume. If you are not comfortable sharing your keyword searches and other information with LinkedIn, don't click this button. Clicking that button will take you to a screen that looks like this, where you can add a role or a kind of job you are looking for. Now, I do a lot of instructional design work as a video e-learning trainer, so I am going to begin typing in instructional designer. And as you can see, before I am even finished typing that, I get real-time suggestions based on job titles available on LinkedIn. I can simply select one of those titles and stop there and click to see examples. Or I can filter these possible examples further by adding an additional industry. But let's just go ahead and click on see examples. Now in this pane, you will see a variety of work experience examples. These aren't just computer generated examples here either. These are taken from real people's public LinkedIn profiles. They just aren't showing you the names of people attached to these work experience descriptions. In fact, if you hover your mouse over this little hard to see eye for information in the upper right hand corner of that window, it will tell you this. Examples are powered by LinkedIn public profiles, used for inspiration, but have your wording reflect your own personal experiences. In other words, don't plagiarize or steal the wording that you see here. That would not be a good thing for your job search. First of all, the very first impression you give to a potential employer, you do not want it to be, hey, I stole my resume from LinkedIn. Secondly, the whole point of a resume is to stand out from the crowd. If you are simply copying verbatim what you see here, your resume will look like every other applicant's. And you definitely don't want that. On the other hand, given the automated or database nature of, the, of most application processes now, Companies will be searching resume databases for specific key terms and words specific to that given industry. And browsing through these work experience examples, not to mention the top skills area beneath this area, can help you determine what key words to include on your resume, if you are uploading it to a resume database that is. Moving down below, there are other helpful links included in the resume assistant window that include links to articles on resume writing and other helpful career interview and job search advice. Now all the way down towards the bottom, you'll even find suggested jobs currently available on LinkedIn based on your selected role in industry. At the very bottom of the pane, there's a link you can click on to let recruiters know you're open to new opportunities. Now for that, you will need a LinkedIn account. But let me say, from personal experience, don't click that button unless you really want recruiters to contact you. And let me say, they are not always going to be contacting you with the best or most advantageous job offers for your specific career. Oh, and one more thing. When you close this window, the resume assistant, and open the resume assistant again, notice what happens. It remembers your search history. 
and you can close Word, you can sign out of Office, and it won't make a difference. You open this pane again, and your last search history will display right there for all to see. You may not want that. Now, to clear your browsing history in this pane, you actually have to open Internet Explorer and clear your internet browsing history there. Yeah, there's no way to do it from within this pane or within Word, it seems. At least, not that I could find. So, opening up Internet Explorer, click on that little gear icon in the upper right-hand corner and click on Internet Options. From there, just click on the Delete button underneath Browsing History. From the Delete Browsing History window, all you should have to clear is the cookies and website data. So selecting that and clicking Delete. Now we can close Internet Explorer, go back to Word, and open up the Resume Assistant again, and it should open up once again to that Getting Started screen. Problem solved. So I hope you have enjoyed this tour of Word's new Resume Assistant. I think it can be useful in your research for resume keywords, but in actually writing your resume, if you are really stuck, I highly recommend contacting an expert. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.